Hello and welcome. Pal World, a world of pals, a world of buddies, friends, chums, and definitely not Pokemon, is a game I find extremely dumb. Now, when I say dumb, I don't mean that it sucks, but that the concept of this game is dumb, and yet it is 100% fun, or well at least 80% fun, because this game has some issues. So stick around as I go over and review this dumb but fun game. What is Power World? Most people have given it the name Pokemon with guns, but this is simply incorrect. Power World is Conan Exiles without the ability to create a Shlongish Humongous, but with all the survival crafting elements of it mixed in with definitely not Pokemon, with guns, a sprinkle of Elden Ring and some elements of Tears of the Kingdom, especially the sound and music, as the sound design team of this game did everything in their power to make the game sound like Tears of the Kingdom, without actually just stealing the songs and sounds directly from Tears of the Kingdom. With that said, this game is mainly a survival crafting game, which is the element of this game I have the biggest problem with. Now, I am not the biggest fan of survival crafting games. You mine resources to build some bullshit in order to mine other resources to build more bullshit. It can be fun to an extent, but it almost always reaches a point where it becomes a grind fest. Power World is no different. I just spent hours to craft my first gun, but can only afford to craft 5 bullets for it, so now I am off to gather more resources, but only a little in order to not overstack my inventory. Then take these resources and wait five minutes to craft an item, to craft another item, to craft more bullets. It is all a little bit slightly tedious, but there are some cool elements to it, like the ability to enslave, I mean employ the pals that you catch, to help speed up the business processes. There are also certain tools that require specific pals to operate them, which I think is pretty cool. The enemy AI is still a little bit wonky. I had come across quite a bit of enemies spazzing out and malfunctioning me? and sometimes just standing there contemplating life. This does have a negative effect on the combat, but it is also important to mention that this game is not finished and still in early access. So these kinds of things should be expected, but I'm still mentioning it for those expecting the enemy AI to be top notch. There are also a whole bunch of inconsistencies as well. The first that comes to mind is the stamina. Some activities cost way too much stamina. The hang glider is a prime example of such an activity. In Tears of the Kingdom, the hang glider is a useful tool to help the player get around, especially from high places. But in Power World, your stamina burns way too fast when using it and makes it feel more like a parachute rather than an actual glider. Some areas also felt like it had a massive difficulty spike. The enemies in these areas felt like they had triple the amount of health and damage, despite them being located next to an area where this was not the problem. The final negative thing I want to talk about is the enemy design, as some of these pals look absolutely ridiculous. Now, let's get on to the good shit. The open world is the first thing about this game I absolutely love. With the design and layout of this world taking a lot of inspiration from your boy Tears of the Kingdom, there are a lot of structures in this world that will immediately grab the player's attention. Reaching these structures are also almost always worth it, as it always seems to reward the player in some way. There are tons of boss fights you can find 
find within the world as well as caves that you can explore in addition to that there are tons of different diverse biomes that all look fantastic the enemy variety is great as well there are a wide variety of not pokemons to find in the world and each area has different ones within them which if you combine with the already wide variety of things you can find within this world it is understandable why this game is so fun to explore and finally the combat even though janky is still a whole lot of fun the wide variety of not pokemons are fun to fight due to almost all of them having unique movesets this makes up for the underwhelming parts of the combat system in many ways the pals you use in your team can also get additional abilities which not only is useful but most of them are pretty cool and unique as well there isn't a wide variety of weapons at least not yet but the weapons that this game has is pretty fun to use my favorite of these weapons is the musket as it uses ammo that is common to find cheap to make does a whole lot of damage and takes an eternity to reload leaving you to run around like a crazy person before you can shoot again When it comes to Power World, the elements of this game I like is strong enough to outweigh the things I don't like. Is this game dumb? Yes. Is it fun? Absolutely. So, when it comes to recommending this game, I would say this. If you like survival crafting games and Pokemon and thought that Pokemon would be cooler worth guns, this game is a no-brainer but if you don't there are a few things to consider this game is in early access meaning it's not finished and there might be some changes in the future that might be good or bad this game is a survival crafting game meaning that if you do not enjoy these types of games you might not enjoy this that being said i don't like survival crafting games and yet the elements of this game that's good is good enough to keep me playing and i would be lying if i said i didn't have fun of this game overall pal world is a game that's dumb fun and has the ability to become a fantastic game just as long as the developers of this game don't screw it up that is all i have for this video thank you for watching Goodbye.